Hi guys, I just thought it'd be really useful to do a little video on how to wire up a basic LED circuit in your van. Now at Kiravans we obviously sell um, a selection of LED lights, we've got some distribution fuse board things, we sell batteries, we sell the cable clamps, uh, the battery clamps, so we've got an ever-growing range um, and you might want to start off, this is basically if you, if you don't have a huge knowledge of, of van electrics, this is quite a good way to start. Uh, I thought I'd build a little mock-up, so this is a very basic lighting circuit, and I'll just give you a quick overview of it. So, what you want to do, you want to start with a 12-volt power supply, in this case it's a leisure battery. From here, we've obviously got a positive and a negative. Positive wires are usually red, don't always have to be, and the black ones are the negatives. So what we would do in this situation is we would run a positive cable from our positive battery into this little fuse distribution board here. Now it's got a master switch, so in, in this position it's off. If you pop it on, you can get a visual guide on that gauge as to how much power you've got left in your battery, which is really useful. Um, from here it then goes into these three separate fused circuits. Now they've all got a little fuse underneath which is there to protect each circuit and if that blows you can take that out and replace it. So on this simple circuit I've just continued my positive line through this switch here which says lights. There's two others on this particular board, one for a pump so that could be for your your tap if you've got water in your in your system and the other one is augs for auxiliary which could be your USB sockets or something like that. So in this one we'll turn on our lighting circuit um, and then from the back of that we've got a positive cable which runs along to our little rocker switch. This is totally optional but I thought I'd put one in. Um, and then from the rocker switch the positive continues on, we'll turn that on, to our first LED light. Now this one is a touch light, yours may not be, yours may be only operated by the switch or it may have a switch on it. So this is a touch one and then from there just to demonstrate what it's like if you've got a series of lights you just continue that positive along and our particular circuit ends in a Kerr's light here which has got its own switch as well. And then if you follow back you get into your negative wires which come back into the other side of this LED light back through our switch. Well actually it doesn't go through that switch, the negative just continues on and then the negative goes into this little uh, negative bus bar they call it and it's basically just where you can connect all your negatives from all the appliances in your van and from there run back to the negative on the battery. Now there is one other from the negative port which comes into the negative wire on our distribution panel. So you can see how that connects that whole circuit together. So as long as you've got power in your battery you turn it on on the master switch, click on your circuit that you want on, any switches you want on, and you're good to go. So it's very simple, but it's, it's often quite useful just to see it actually set up in a small environment. Now, if you're putting this into your van, the only thing that's going to be different is you need to think about where am I going to put the individual bits? So you might want to put your battery under the driver's seat, for example. You may have your uh, distribution fuse gauge panel mounted in a bit of furniture. And then what will happen is your wire lengths will be longer because they'll be running to the various parts of your van where you want to have your lights. But that's basically all there is to it. Um, I haven't gone into how we keep our battery charged. That's, a, that's another video in itself. And the only other thing you'll be wondering is, well, how do I make the actual physical connections? Um, so obviously you're going to need one of these kits with all the little crimp terminals in it. Uh, that's probably another video as well. You'll need a few tools, so some cable cutters, wire strippers are really handy, and then this is the tool for crimping the actual crimps. And that's how you can go through and make all your connections. Um, and then I'll probably do another video again on cable itself because cable thickness is quite important. On a simple circuit like this, it's it's you can use quite thin cable because LED lights don't draw very much at all. Um, so hopefully that's been helpful for you. That'll give you a basic understanding of how to create a, a lighting circuit in your van. Um, and then as going forward through the year, I'll do a few more of these and we'll gradually build up our knowledge on how to, how to wire up the whole camper van. All right, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Cheers.